All right. Here's our little test setup for this Dark Star demo, demonstrating the new limit switch um, feature slash support. So here we've got some limit switches. I've got these first two wired in series here, jumpered together with this red wire. You see this one pair of wire goes into my M1 limit switch here. I've got the other Y and so let's see, I don't know if you can see the labels on here. So this is normally open. All right, great fun. I started to do this demo. <laughs> I discovered that these switches are basically labeled backwards, which meant that my documentation was wrong because <laughs> I based it off of how things behaved on these. So these are labeled normally closed and normally open based on when a magnet is present. Um, Cause for security installation in like a door window switch, uh, that's how, that's how it would, normally be but that's not uh, that's what I call the actuated position of the switch and this would be the normal position of the switch and in this position it's a bit different this is normally open and this is normally closed so anyway now we have our normally closed switches wired in series are normally open switches wired in parallel. And here we have our dark blue application. We go down and look in the limits and yes, the normally open one will be inverted, normally closed. Um, not okay so M1 is normally closed M2 is normally open as I've got it test set up here so now that I've got that set properly let's run a motor so got this little test motor uh, gosh. here so, you see that ran just fine. Now I'm going to start the motor again, and I'm going to bring the limit switch in here, and that will stop it. The motor's running. The motor stopped. You now see we've got red LED indicating that direction is blocked. Now if I try to run the motor that direction again, nothing happens so if I try to go the other way we see it runs just fine the switch is still closed now I'll open up the switch a little bit of a delay you'll see the LED clear there I accidentally touched the screen and stopped it there it works now for purposes of this it doesn't matter uh, which switch I closed, but I'll just go ahead and use the magnet and close this one. We'll pretend it's the other limit. And so, because we were traveling that way, that's the LED that's set. Once again, if I try to go that way, nothing happens. Go the other way, just fine. You let the condition clear. Now once again, we've got a limit condition. I can't go that way, but we can go the other way. So, that's with the normally closed switches. Now let's move to the other set of limit switches here. And these are our normally open switches. And using the inverted logic, these are these are wired in in parallel they'll work just the same so i've got uh, got another motor here let's see if i can get it into screenshot just so you can
see the motion here maybe okay so there we've got the uh, you can see the shaft so motor running bring the magnet up we got a limit red LED we're stopped run the other way move magnet LED clears boom now we're at the other limit can't go that way we can go that way though take it off there we go everything clear just as you'd expect so really simple nothing fancy but it's just what you need if you don't have built-in limit switches all the help you need is right there for how to wire them and how the settings should be right there in the app so that's the uh, that's the new limit switch feature and the new dark blue remote control app for the dark star 2.1 controller